Hi there. Uh, episode 7 of Animal Workshop. Uh, in this episode I'm going to be uh, finishing off that um, uh, slider I built with our motorised motors uh, in either end. Um, that's a bit later. But first I've sort of clicked together a, a few ducks, a couple of geese and a swan. So um, if you can name them all in a row and post a comment to that effect and you get it right, I'll, uh, I'll uh, give you a prize. And that prize is quite simple. Bragging rights. So um, see how you go. So how did you go with that? Did you get them all? Just a word of caution, there's uh, one duck in there and I'm not sure whether it's a female chestnut tail or a grey tail. So um, you might want to have another look at that. Now um, it's enough of the ducks and the birds and that sort of stuff, it's back into the workshop. I guess I'm already uh, here. Through the wonders of the internet, I've decided what I wanted. I've posted an order of Servo City on the other side of the world, and within a couple of weeks, I've got my box of gear here. You now, the people at Servo City probably see Tasmania and think, Where the heck is that? So, to solve the problems that I'm, I, I'm working with, as well as the, the cable is a bit pulley, it pulls on these pulleys, it gets a little bit of a pulse occasionally. So, I'm using an XL belt, tooth belt now, and that should solve that problem. The other issue is I wanted to go so I can run the slider vertically up and down. Uh, and the, this capstan string is no good for that, so the tooth cable will solve that problem. Uh, and as this motor is not really powerful enough, it will go to about 45 degrees, but it won't go the full way. I'm going to put two, two motors, two of these bigger motors, and, and attach them to the ends with this simple bracket. Um, and because they're off-centre, I can uh, tighten the cable by simply turning them around to uh, take up the slack on the cable. Uh, now, the other problem is the... I've only just got it slow enough to do the time lapses and the motor is really going as slow as it can possibly go which isn't good because you get a little bit of pulsing in, in the motor when that happens so you, to really get the motor running smoothly you've got to get it in the middle of that, that rev range um, so I've got these much quite smaller motors and they're half a rev a minute so um, I reckon you know I probably won't want to run them at that I won't probably want to run them you know, a little bit faster than that so that'll be fine
and then these should work well. At the moment, it's taking about an hour to get to the end. I want to sort of get up to about an hour and a half. So I'm ho hoping that these uh, motors will do it. And if they don't, I've got, I've got a few different size uh, um, pulley wheels, you know, with the, fit with the, um, the tooth cable, and that should solve that problem. So it's time to get to and start building. So I've got all the parts back from the uh, powder coaters uh, now, all powder coated nice, uh, satin black colour. All the imperfections, the machining marks have uh, disapp disappeared off them. Um, so it's time to put it together, I guess. Uh, and that obviously calls for a time lapse. This section I'm putting in now uh, houses the cables uh, to go out to the both motors either end and the um, uh, cutoff switches. Uh, this is the little grommet or whatever you call it where I uh, uh, the XL uh, belt attaches to. I try to put a bit of orange in everything I make just to make it look a little bit different. I've had to make a, a larger housing either end to hold the motors and a, a plug because uh, the motors are being changed all the time. Um, I mulled over how I'd connect the cables for quite a while. I came up with this little sort of a slide on thing where the ridges in the um, in the belt uh, stop it from pulling out. Well, that's about it. Uh, it's all finished. I probably need a probably a uh, sixty rev a minute rather than ten rev a minute motors to get them going at the right speed. But other than that, it's uh, it's 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 working just as I hoped. Now, the next um, animal workshop to come out, I'll be quite a way away from here, Hobart, Tasmania. We're actually putting pin, pins from Tasmania and moving to Darwin, uh, about as far as you can go. Uh, north in Australia. Um, why? Well the economy down here has just been tanking for the last two and a half years. We've got really bad leadership, just a bunch of, basically a bunch of bureaucrats rather than leaders in charge of the state and things are things are pretty dire. And, you know, um, most of the builders that I know and tradesmen, they've uh, they've left some time ago so now I'm up, upping stakes and going off to Darwin with the family as well. Uh, which is not particularly what I wanted to do but um, you know, when you can't get any work, well then you have to do these things. So um, it'll be an adventure and I've been down before out in Kakadu and Roper River and uh, uh, it's a pretty amazing place. So heaps of wildlife, heaps of wildlife. I'm really looking forward to the mangroves and those big rivers and the magpie geese. Uh, it'll be fantastic. Anyway, uh, uh, the next animal workshop, what I'll do is I'll actually film the drive up there. Um, I don't know how far it is, but it's a bloody long way though. Uh, so. Um, uh, that's it for, for now and I'll see you in the next episode.